I'm Mika Schibbet. Relay, how much of a factor does the ball quality play? I mean, it's quite important here, you know. Ball with less grip, you can't catch it well, you can't kick it well, you know. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's quite a vital factor. But I mean, I mean, team is the most important thing. Team is the most important thing. Go, go, really was born um, with the concept of um, giving a platform to express our values. Um, we really uh, believe in our values that were designed and come up with um, from the players and management um, through the years. Firstly, relationships matter. Secondly, we are real. And thirdly, compete always. And we felt breaking the squad into smaller groups, um, which we now refer to as houses, um, allows for those values to, to grow um, at a faster rate and, and expand and continue to expand every season. Uh, so we have the house structure, um, the squad is split up into the four houses, which each have a house master, which is one of the coaches. There's been a variety of, of house masters as things have, have moved on over the years. Um, and um, it really is a space um, for, for us to grow those values um, and, and really um, mostly compete um, against each other in virtually everything. Um, and um, yeah, this year we've got the Groom Stars, um, which will be Nick Groom's house, um, led by him. Um, we've got Earth, Wind and Saliers, which will be led by Pit Saliers of s &C. And then finally we've got the Jackie and the Clegs, uh, which is led by Jackie Moon, our physiotherapist, who's also in his, going into his fourth year as a house master. Okay, and your house is? Destiny's Child. And then last but not least, the three-time champions. They yet to win a fourth, they yet to win a fourth theoretical prize. <laughs> Gerald calls him white chocolate. He's gone for the dark chocolate. Craig Child. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Thanks, Rizzle. Um, we won't be that long uh, as Pitt because the Bach game starting soon. But, um, but just uh, to DC, obviously when you win three in a row, um, your players get get pulled and, and, and traded. So it was a tough, it was a tough afternoon. Um, but uh, Gerald's actually going to announce our our, our four. Uh, <laughs> as you know, um, Gerald's played a massive role in DC over the years. He's quite well known in the bubble for. Minusing a point in shenanigans for shouting finger popping. Gerald, Gerald, virtually everything. Uh, one of the, the the areas we love to refer to as shenanigans, which our manager Ron Pillett um, runs, and uh, that's an off-field um, competition which allows us to compete. Shenanigans. If you don't, if you start humming and you you. Just really suck at it. You can hand over to the next guy, you just can't. Okay, none of these, I'm pretty sure, are songs after 2005. So, yes! kicking it old school today. Three, two, one, go. No, it's not That's right, four. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Hey, 
shushy shush. Three, two, one, go. Sweet beans. Sweet beans. Four seconds. We obviously compete daily in the gym um, and on the field. Uh, we compete in, in, in music videos and, and just about everything. Um, and we, we believe in that environment of competition in our houses grows the uh, sort of camaraderie and the squad and, and the togetherness, um, which is really important. But that can't, that can't be the idea. It's actually Whatever equipment you've got here, this is fucking proper. I don't mean to swear, it's a God's day, but <laughs> what you're doing is unbelievable, Tate. Sunday, rugby with the lads. What more can you get, eh? Doesn't get better than this, bud. Let's go! <laughs> That's your Sunday morning done. Okay, Sunday mode goes out the window. Okay, so if you don't know how today works, it's sort of the idea of like more closer to a pro day. So we go gym, we then got a meeting, not split, we got a meeting or a team session. Cool, so we have to have that structure. Um, normal program in terms of length, but we are slightly more. It shouldn't be a problem because you just have to chat less and work more. Okay, feel it? Then we should be fine. Okay, it's part of your gym session. You'll see there's a hurdle block and there's a sprint block. Okay, so you do your exercise, you go outside, you do your hurdles, and you do your flight 20 as well. You can do that in shoes, no, up in your trainers, no problem. Really, someone's Above five, someone. Now, you're going to wait, huh? Okay. Um, cool. So, look at your program, get going, it's work nice and quickly. Let's go!
go from there to go in f- to the following weeks until the end of VC. Okay. So yeah. And what are you expecting from yourself and the rest of the side in this final exam day before Oxford? <coughs> um, pretty much just clarity. We know we we physically we can we can manage that. That will come out on game day. But I think clarity and understanding is a big thing that if we get on lockdown today, I think for Oxford we'll be happy with. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Boy, you break down the practice today. What are you doing? Yeah, I'll be very chill. Just a quick, quick run through the head for Oxford tomorrow. You excited for Oxford? Yeah, I think it's going to be like a just get back out in the park again. Yeah, yeah all good, strong. Never better. Boys are putting in the work, so it's looking good, it's looking promise. Brian, some words before the Oxford game. You know, I think a lot of excitement. Um, you know, it's kind of, we've been training pre-season, basically pulling up to a game, so, you know, I think just a lot of energy, a lot of excitement for the team, man. Yeah, that's what I got. Yeah, so I think in the Oxford game, you know, ultimately what we want to see is we want to see the basics of what we've trained. You know, we've only been going on the field for four and a bit weeks, so there's lots of aspects of our game that are not going to be refined at all. But can I see guys, you know, flipping, bring intensity and energy on the field? Can I see guys connecting with each other? Can I see the guys who've got a bit of character, you know, physically, um, emotionally, they're just going to be tired, they're not necessarily fit enough for competition, but they've got to play. Like, I want to test that. So I think that's important. And then often in these preseason games, you've got to unshackle people a little bit. You know, I've said to the guys, I don't want them thinking about every little detail that we've trained in their heads because then they're going to be they're going to be in their minds and they can't perform like that so i want them to go out and feel that freedom you know um and i think if we get that right ugh, that's what these guys enjoy playing um but i think if we can get that right we'll see the full extent of the individual's abilities um and their character and that will stand us in good stead as we go into next year and we can iron out a lot of that detail <laughs> Let's work on what we've done for the past fucking month with fuck your energy, raise that beat. Ten minutes, they're gonna be fucking tickets. Oh, yes, there's no two ways about it. Okay, let's fucking fly into that. Let's have fun, dude. Let's have fun. Fucking yes. 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 yes.
Insta, times money, money pays. Yeah. You ain't ready for the eighth. No. She ain't ready for the eighth. He be riding on the wave. I ain't got a lot to say. Mine's heavy, give me space. Pines ready, let me blaze. Spend money, what a waste. Uh. Times money, money pays. Yeah. You ain't ready for the eighth. Never. She ain't ready for the eighth. Yeah. <laughs> 